And while Georgia's vaccination numbers have been improving over the last few weeks, several other states are still outpacing us. One of the most successful so far is West Virginia, and our Joe Hinky spoke with a public health expert there about how they went hyper local and whether it could work here in Georgia. National headlines have highlighted West Virginia's COVID-19 vaccination numbers. The state's numbers show 15% of West Virginians have received their first shots, 9 plus percent have been fully vaccinated, and 100 plus percent of doses received are being used, meaning an extra dose is being extracted from many vials. In comparison, in Georgia, for example, 84% of doses received have been used. The key element of success that I've been emphasizing is the importance of ensuring that the people in the community are not left out of our vaccine deployment efforts. That's Dr. Christopher Martin is with the West Virginia University School of Public Health and Medicine. Martin says early on, the state created a vaccination plan to meet West Virginia's needs. It started with including local pharmacies instead of the federal plan to have national pharmacy chains vaccinate long-term care facilities, staff and residents. We have far more community-based pharmacies uh, we have something like 250 of them versus uh, under 150 of the chain pharmacies. And Martin says the state's local pharmacy owners often have deep roots in their communities, know their neighbors, and are a trusted source when asked about vaccine hesitancy issues. So far, though, demand appears to be outpacing any hesitancy. A vaccine clinic held on a snowy day with temps in the 20s easily drew around 1,100 West Virginians. The state also recognized its many rural communities, older population, and limited high-speed internet, meaning a hotline to make appointments was needed more than a website as other states rely on. And while the population of Fulton and DeKalb counties roughly equals all of West Virginia, Martin admits a smaller population and less diversity does lead to a logistics advantage. And West Virginia's approach can't simply be duplicated. West Virginia being a smaller state, of course, that gives you efficiencies of scale. You can be more nimble in, in deploying a, a wide vaccine effort like this. What Martin says can be duplicated, though, is for states to talk with their individual communities, see what specific resources are needed, and then find a way to provide those.